Good morning, everyone. My name is Kim Carlisle. And I'm Sarah Carlisle. And we have a shop full of Heise glassware. We're located just north of Indianapolis, Indiana. And our shop is open at this time by appointment only. So please get a pencil and paper ready. We're going to show you our email address in a minute. This morning's video is another edition of Half Price Thursday. Half Price Thursday, where we pull items out of the shop for storage. And we put them on a table outside this room, and everything will be sold for one half the price that's marked on it. So if you're ready, we're going to show you our email address. Again, my name is Kim Carlisle. And I'm Sarah Carlisle. And the email address is the letter K C A R L I S L. At A T T dot N E T. And there is no E on the end of Carlisle on that email address. I'm going to give you a quick little preview of our shop. We have 18 cases and 9 tables, chock full of Heise glassware. We do buy Heise, one piece or an entire collection. So if you know someone that has any Heise for sale, please have them get in contact with us and maybe we can buy it. For this morning's video, we can combine several weeks of videos so we're not sending you maybe a box with just a salt cellar in it. We can put several pieces in that box before you ship it. we ship it to you. So if you're ready, Sarah and I are going to back out of this room and we're going to give you a preview of what is on the table this morning. Here's a quick little preview of what we have this morning. You should know the routine by now. If you see anything you're interested in, you can call, text, or email. Just remember that calls and texts come through quicker than emails do. So if you're ready, we're going to get started right back here in the aisle, in the corner. What's the first item here, Sarah? We have a creamer and sugar, and the sugar does have a lid. They both have a really nice cutting on it, and it's 65 for the pair. Next. We have a terrain goblet, and Fred Harvey Amber it is signed toward the bottom, and the price is? $45. And here next is a Putney and Diamond uh, put a jelly in and it is $25. Here we have an item here. I think it's a candy dish. It is signed. It looks like a goblet. Could be a short stem goblet. Does have Windsor cutting on it and the price is $20. And when I tell you the price of something, you're going to get it for one half the price that we're quoting you. Next is a capuchon cruet. It has a nice little cutting on the middle of the cruet and it is $45. We have a soda glass that has skier etching on it, and it is $45, only one available. Here's a banded foot cordial, and it's $25, and it's marked on the bottom. Have a Fandango toothpick holder, good condition, and it price there? $22.50. Here is a shot glass with Tally Ho etching on it, and it is $20. Tudor Cover Candy Dish in Moongleam. It's $55. Here is a pair of candle holders, and I believe this is Twist. I it believe they're Octagon. Octagon, and mm -hmm. it's $20. Here we have a narrow flute, and it is a divided uh, relish. It's marked twice with the Diamond H. It is in Moongleam, and the price is $35. Next, we have a Hawthorne ladle. It does have a nice little cutting on the outside. It's marked in the middle, and it's $65. Yeoman, two and a half ounce little perfume bottle. Has a long dripper on the inside of it. Has a nice little cutting on the outside of it, and it is $55. Nice and clean on the inside. We have another creamer and sugar. It is in Tudor pattern. It's both in good condition. And it, for the pair, it's $45. And the handles are in good condition. No cracks in the handles. Octagon two-handle nut cup in Flamingo. And the price on that is? $8. Next is an Empress foot comport. And it is $10. Have a double ribbon panel basket. It has sterling silver overlay decoration around the top. And it has cuttings on the side of it, and there are a couple of small flakes on the inside edge of this. And therefore, the piece is only priced $15. We have a plantation foot of candy, and it's in good condition. And it is $45. Have a swirl little comport, it is marked, it's in Flamingo, and the price on it is $17.50. Next, we have a syrup. Great condition. The lid is, looks like it's brand new. It has Windsor cutting on it, and it is $37.50. We have a plain and fancy tumbler, and if you look closely, it does have peacock etching on it, and on the top, there is a very slight little nick right there on the top, and it is only $5 before the discount. 
We have two cordials. They're colonial cordials and they're $18 each. Crystallite cigarette lighter. If you look at the bottom of this piece, they drilled a hole all the way through it, put a little screw in it to hold the cigarette uh, lighter apparatus in it. It's really a piece of crystallite. And the price on this one is? $45. Next, we have two ashtrays with cuttings on the outside. They're plain in the middle, and they're $5 for both of them. These are little dolphin-footed nut cups, but they have put candle holder inserts on the inside of them. They are in the Queen Anne pattern, and the price is? $65. For the pair. We have three plantation sherbets. They are all three in great condition, and they're $65 each. And these are the press sorbers. These are the ones that are hard to find. Have a Verley's casket vase. And it's crystal, and the price is? $45. We have a sunburst spade ashtray, mm -hmm. and it's in, it has a couple teeth missing, so it's only $4 before the discount. That's how the bridge set, where they have heart, diamond club, and spade. Here we have a plantation footed comport. has three pineapples in the top of it, and the price is? $75. Next is... A hexagon basket. A hexagon basket has a nice butterfly and flower cutting on the outside of it. Everything, it's cut on the top of the handle, and it's even cut on the bottom around the edge. And for the price of the basket, it's $55. We have an African-footed sherbet. These aren't easy to find, and the price on it is just $20. We have two crystallite cordials, and they're $60 each. Have a pair of Ridgely single light square candle holders, and they have this gold armalou on the feet. Look at that, absolutely beautiful gold armalou, and they're forty-five dollars for the pair. We have a flamingo salt cellar, and it's eight dollars. We have a solitaire ashtray in Sahara, and the price on it is forty dollars. We have a moon gleam dolphin footed nut cup, and it's twenty dollars. Yeoman, creamer and sugar in Flamingo. Creamer and sugar both have little matching cuttings on them and the price is? $20. We have a Moon Gleam Coarse Rib Footed Jelly. Good condition and it is $18. Waverly Orchid Etch Table. Creamer and sugar and this is $8 for the pair. Next is a pair of Georgian Candle Stick Holders. And they're $35 for the pair. Plantation, three light candle holder. This is not the one that took the boba chaise and the price, Sarah? It's $45. We have an orchid footed. I believe it's a cheese. Cheese, and it's $10. Here we have a Pluto candle holder, it's just a single. Has a pretty little cutting around the base and it's $15. We have a pair of leaf. Mm -hmm. Candle holders. One does have an original Heisey sticker. And for the pair, it is $30. For the pair. Ring band custard or ivory and verde butter dish cover. Nice little gold on it on the very top of it. Right there on the top where Sarah shows you. Has a little neck right on the very top. And therefore, it is only $18 for both the pop and the bottom. Next is a Heisey Donna tumbler. It's an orchid, and there is a little small flake on the top, and it's only $5. Here's the Narrow Flute Large Master Nut. You see the little ones, and it's $12.50. Next, we have a souvenir toothpick. It's in Putney pattern. It's in custard. It says souvenir of Arkansas City, Kansas, and it is $30. Here's a little, I think, the 359 cordial, and it's $18. And here's a plant, mm, bandit, bandit flute, flute uh, toothpick, and it's $20. Or it could be a shot glass. Here's a Prince of Wales Plumes toothpick holder. Has fair gold on it. Has good, good condition, and it's $45.
And I believe that's everything we have this morning. If you see anything you're interested in, you can call, text, or email. And we are going to be accepting uh, phone calls both Thursday and Friday this week. We're going to be around all day Friday. So if anything hasn't sold on Thursday, we will sell it on Friday. So hope you enjoy the video and you can find something to buy. Thank you very much and goodbye.